Moving along to the second plate of the Il Cornudo hand symbol, and this is Usher. And you can see Usher was actually responsible, uh, apparently, of bringing Justin Bieber onto the market. And you can see the use of this symbol. This is cross-genre, every genre. This is Disney product, uh, Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus. And you can see. Now, when we come to an image like this, uh, this is pink, you can see that she knows exactly what she's doing because she's putting the horns on the head representing that sign. Gwen Stefani, they use it constantly. Now here's another life image. This is Lady Sovereign from the United Kingdom. This is a global effort. This is not just the United States, and we'll see a little bit of that in this presentation. But you see the dual symbolism here, you see the hand sign here, and you see the skulls with lightning bolts. And we're going to see lightning bolts in the second uh, section. Uh, skulls and crossbones, so the dualism and the use of, of variants of skull and crossbones with lightning bolts. You're going to see this, and I want you to bear with me. Um, Britney Spears and Celine Dion. Moving along, here's Bono again. This is Keisha and the Three Finger Method. This is uh, Nicki Minaj, of course. She's downright demonic. We're going to see some of that stuff. You can see the use of the symbol. This is Selena. She represents the tweens, and we'll see some of that and what she even wears that references Satanism. You can see here now he's crossing his arms. We'll see that X symbolism uh, later on toward the end of this presentation. But dual symbolism going on, and I want you to bear with me in understanding this. There's Rihanna once again, and of course Tweety's doing that. This is the band called Paramore. Paramore was known or was thought to be a Christian band because after some concerts they uh, pray to God. Um, we have to be very careful of what God that is. As a Christian, I've come to find out a lot uh, that uh, uh, whether or not it's their God or my God. We can see this. How creative can you be? I'm telling you, this is artists copying artists and being ministers, uh, essentially, to the world like it's a cool thing. So in this case now, Getty Image, we have the band Paramore. She puts the devil sign in the single eye symbolism and this is one of the key images I want you to remember of that single eye symbolism. Again, here's Life Magazine. This is a band called Muse, I believe. I believe it's Muse, but you can see this dual symbolism with the use of the hand sign and on the t-shirt Caduceus. Also, they like to wear black and white, which represents this dualism, and I'll show you that in the in the subsequent or the uh, yeah yeah the subsequent uh, plates. This is a band I used to like Weezer and the use of that sign, and you can see that it's ubiquitous on all genres of music, saluting Satan. And you have here a uh, little Wayne, two finger, three finger. I know it sounds funny. You know, so we're taught to believe if you even mention the word Satan, it's like a funny thing. But I'm going to tell you, please, what about uh, understand that fantasizing reality aspect? If you really think it's fantasy and what these people do and what they uh, we're naive to believe that there is not. Sat a satanic realm and a satanic church and satanic practices going on. This is uh, Kevin Spacey and we have um, a Nicolas Cage with his son uh, doing that sign. This famous uh, director and you can see the sign. I used to listen to this band, Dolph Punk. Dolph Punk, you can see the symbolism here, praying to Lucifer or Satan very easy to interpret this if you just understand what's going on. A symbol of something perhaps it was once called hope. This is 7 plus. My daughter played this game and I realized what the heck is going on. And this was a couple years back. You can push these buttons and make this sign and they equate this symbol hope in a question mark. Very interesting um, how they play 
and they indoctrinate people into this symbolism. Athletes are not immune to this type of symbolism. You've got some horns here, kind of a weird image. I have uh, another image of McDonald's uh, uh, CEOs doing this, but it's not on this one. But here's a basketball player, political Japanese parliament. Uh, is this mean I love you? Maybe, but I'm telling you with secret societies and this man, Obama, these guys involved in secret societies, I'll show you that these are Luciferian secret societies and that these symbols are not coincidence and they are deliberate. He likes to have that symbol. Uh, there's other things that he does. And, you know, this could be uh, just caught on camera, but I'm telling you, I'm up into the 90th percentile of that not being the case because look how much it's been perpetrated on mankind. Look at this. How well programmed everybody is into it. And of course we have the Pope. He likes to do that, but I added another image. That's pretty distinct as far as that. So is he saying I love you in this case? We're going to find the Catholic Church is far from uh, innocent.